Ah. Well, it's the day after the night before, and um, the Mariners got a fourth consecutive away win as we beat. 1-0 at Tranmere um, and rode our luck at times definitely rode our luck at times we uh, we we easily could have uh, considered a couple but Jackson Smith was was on on fire uh, saving the shots that he did and uh, I'm uh, Pretty really pleased with that, and uh, we also could have won by a by a a much bigger margin as well. Um, and but you know, four straight wins you can't really away from home you can't really complain about that. Um, just take you through what the teams were well, or Grimsby's team uh, for the game. We started with Jackson Smith in goal as his lone. Uh, was extended for this week as well. Uh, Terrell Warren, Harvey Rogers, Doug Darm, uh, Kevin McJanet and Denver Hume. Um, they made up sort of like the back five, but it, it's more like a, a three at the back, as Warren and, and Hume usually do the... Yeah, from the wingers, Barrington, uh, Corey and Ainley in the middle, with Abiku and Rose up front. And uh, we were playing, obviously, like I said, the, the worst defence, never enough, or second worst defence, was coming up against the worst attack. Um, again, there was some there was some good football in there. Uh, I have to give a lot of uh, credit to uh, to Al Warren uh, last night. I thought he did. Uh, I thought he had a very smart game last night. He, uh, you know, he he showed basically. Uh, um, there I think was Finley and, uh, and Norman. Uh, he he sort of he didn't show them inside. He kept them outside. Uh, I thought, like I said, Warren was one of the stronger performances um, last night. Uh, Evan Curry, another solid, solid performance again in the middle. Uh, Jackson Smith, like I said, with a, a, a few really good saves, especially um, one real chance that, that uh, I think it was Luke Norris had. That, no, it wasn't. Yes, it was Luke Norris. Um, and it was a cracking save by Jackson Smith. Um, and then I think it was Janet that was able to get it get it away just before it trickled over the line, but a great save by Jackson. Uh, and uh, we were able to pretty really keep Amari Patrick quite quiet. He did have a couple of spells, but to be fair, you know, Callum Ainley did a good job. Denver Hume, from an attacking sense, um, can't fault him. He was getting some real good balls in the box. Um... And it's a kind of reaction we needed after the uh, win on, uh, after the loss, sorry, on Saturday. Uh, Walsall, it was the kind of result that we needed to get, I think. Because what you don't want to do is start going on a losing run, uh, which we didn't. Uh, but uh, Justin got the, the winner. But before we talk about Justin's winner, uh, Justin had two... Um, I'm not going to call them sitters, but shall we say easier chances? Uh, more like square onto the centre of goal and, and, and sort of um, really sky both of them. Uh, but Justin was a handful uh, throughout the game, really. Um, and... Uh, you know, uh, and the two chances before his goal, um, he'd probably be disappointed that he didn't take either of those two. That's what I mean by really could have been by 
a bigger margin. I think Tramia, they are going to feel a bit hard done by, um, possibly. Uh, uh, but, you know, we hung on. Uh, obviously, we had a chance on uh, 53 minutes when uh, uh, I think it was Cameron Norman was uh, a judge to have handballed in, uh, in the box, which looking back on it, yes, he did. Um, I can see why it was given, um, uh, and it was a very, shall we say, a very, uh, it was a very good penalty to be honest with you. Their, their goalkeeper McGee made a cracking save from Danny Rose, who took the penalty, uh, and I always put that down as a penalty save not a penalty miss because uh, and with a save like that uh Tramia sort of had the the spirits uh kind of lifted and then um about five minutes later six minutes later heading into the hour mark um we sort of played a, a longish kind of ball up and just in uh, Abiku got to a very very tight angle uh, a lot more difficult than um, than his first two chances uh, their goalkeeper and their defender uh, probably a mix up in communication and uh, Justin was able to to look like he overstretched a little bit to get to it from the angle that he was at uh, but he was able to to poke it um, past the on-running defenders that were trying to get back into the back of the net. Like I said, his third real chance of the game, and he took the harder one. Uh, cracking finish. Uh, Barrington is... Uh, that's with the guy that's had the assist. Another lad that really he's coming into his own um, here scoring goals and now assisting as well um, it was a great finish but it was kind of hands to the pump again because Tranmere uh, they were starting to get frustrated you could tell and I think they were masters of their own downfall in the end uh, obviously the, the referee didn't give them a uh, many decisions which he didn't really I think we were very lucky near the end because he had a penalty shout I personally looked at it and thought mm -hmm, that, that's a pen actually I think penalty I think we got away with one really um, was Tramia were, were, were decent but we were just that little bit better um, weren't much in it in the regard but at the end of the day it's the Mariners that come out with um, with the win and uh, uh, with our fourth away win in a row uh, I mean obviously Tramia had most of the ball they had most of the chances really um, we had 10 to their 18 uh, but again we were getting our bodies on the line we were we were we were really starting to frustrate Tramia uh, and obviously uh, to some Tramia fans the the referee wasn't giving them an awful lot was giving us uh, so maybe a couple of suspect um, decisions I'll admit that uh, but you know we take that look it's look that you know we don't normally get look like that so to, to, to get a little bit of look 
uh, will take it. And um, that puts the Mariners after that uh, real scrap, I would say, down in Merseyside. And that puts the, the Mariners in seventh in the playoff places um, on 21 points. Um, that's our seventh win of the season. Um, and another clean sheet away from home as well. Two out of the last three away games, uh, the Mariners have have won um, one nil. So it it's pleasing to to see that. And I think that you know I was saying to a friend after the game, I said if we can get our home defence sorted out. We're going to be, you know, we're going to be dangerous. But we have to get our home defence sorted out. Um, I did come to with, a, I looked up a certain stat yesterday because obviously people have um, had a couple of words on social media with me about, you know, um, my situation after Walsall. Here's an interesting stat for you Mariners fans. Uh, every time uh, the Mariners have scored first, they've won. Bar one. The only time the Mariners have come from behind from conceding first uh, is Carlisle. So... The only thing that I will question right now is our mentality when we fall behind. Um, because when we score the opening goal, um, we seem to get a result. We seem to win a game. And, um, but what frustrates me, what is so frustrating about Grimsby right now is... Uh, and it does frustrate me is the fact that we can go to Tranmere and do that. We can go to Gillingham and do that. But at home, we can't. Now, I've seen some fans say, yes, and I'll tell as well, say it was Doncaster and it was Walsall. It's funny that Doncaster were at home last night and lost. So, why do we allow them to come to our patch and beat us and beat us well it's because they score first so that is one thing that has to get better is the mentality in the side when we do concede first because when we don't nine times out of ten we win a game and that's what for me makes Grimsby so infuriating um, we did what I thought we'd do uh, played some good stuff um, we were resolute we were together defensively last night we definitely were I think everyone to a man did well again you, you just want to see that replicated at home really that's, that's all you need because if we can get that sorted out um, not necessarily just the home form but the, the mentality if we do go behind in a home game we could be dangerous because we you know we, we've shut out Gillingham we, we, we you know we, we've shut out Tranmere we we haven't beat uh, well I say we haven't beat anybody bigger obviously we did Gillingham because they were leaders at the time but it's now about backing up against the MK Dons here. Um, Artel did make a statement about our pitch, um, which, again, he, with Artel, he just makes some comments that, and someone said, you know, he's entitled to the opinion. Of course he's entitled to the opinion. Um But he just makes some comments that might not even really be made at times. So, like, 
the pitch that when they come away the pitch is a lovely and Bundle Park isn't you know it's really a statement he didn't really need to make because otherwise that then that does make it out to sound like well that's an excuse um, but in general I mean you know people are, are, um, are go saying that you know they're 100% behind our tell and you know until I see a mentality change at home um, you know or, or, or back that win up with a home one now well I've actually said even if we get a couple of draws out of the the, the home games I'll I'll be happy it's about with me it's about can we do it when we shouldn't you know we beat the lowest scorers in the league last night uh, we did ride our luck because I think we did get more decisions than Tranmere I think Tranmere should have got probably more decisions than they got um, uh, but we had the we had the stroke of luck and we had the 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 break shall we say that Tramia didn't get uh, they thought they got it when uh, their goalie saved uh, the penalty but can't fault where the lads are seventh place 21 points in the playoff places didn't think I'd be saying that after Saturday but that also shows you how tight this league is you know we are you know we are six points off top we're two points off the automatic places then i'm going to play devil's advocate and also turn around and say we're three points off um we're three points off 13th so we're two points off the automatic places and we're three points off uh mid table so it's it's one of these kind of situations where um, can't fault the lads uh, for the win, um, especially away. We seem to just have something about us going away from home, uh, which is pleasing to see, pleasing to know as well. And um, let's so here we go but that one stat again is when town score first we get a result so we've got to make sure that we score first otherwise we'll lose but on the other side is if we do score first i believe we'll get a result we seem like we're first goal merchants um it's like A light switches on when we score first. Belief grows in the team when we score first. And if you look at the stats of everything else, that is proven. If you look at our season from August to now, that's the case. Every single time, bar one of the seven wins that we've had, we've scored first. Uh, but usually if we concede first we lose so Grimsby at the minute we feel like a, a, a first goal merchant type team uh, can't be negative you know in, in, in seventh place uh, it's a good place to be it's a good good place to be we now need to back that up with something at home to MK Dons. Let's hope we score first, because if we do, we'll probably end up in the automatic promotion places. That's how guns be out at the moment. Um, but again, when I've said something about them, it's, it's not the defeats. And I've said this in on, on social media, it's not the defeats that piss me off it's the manner of them same as I'm not going to get carried away with beating Tranmere 1-0 because if I wanted to play devil's advocate there we've uh, 
we beat the worst scorers in the division. So, and I, I knew Town could do. I knew Town would do this. I knew what we do. You know, lose on Saturday, then get a tram and win. That's just typical Town, and that is. But I have to admit, for me, this season Town's been so infuriating to a degree because. We absolutely capitulate against Walsall and any other team we've conceded first against. And then we go to places like Carlisle, we go to places like Salford, we go to places like Tranmere, we go to Gillingham, and we put in performances like that, you know, together, compact, defensive performances. And then we come to our home ground and we don't do that. That's what frustrates me. So I just want to make that emphasis clear. When I was pissed off about the Warsaw result, it wasn't the result. It was the capitulation. And then we go to Tramnia, play out of our skin defensively. So why can't we do that at home? That's my only issue, uh, generally. And I know people are saying, well, why am I always being negative? It's for that reason. But I picked out that stat last night. When towns score first, they win games. When we concede first, bar Carlisle, Carlisle's the only game in the, in the seven games that we've won where we've conceded first and won. Every other team that scored first against us has beaten us. So, again, it's about... Might sound a bit negative, but until we can get to the point where we can do Carlisle more often, or we can, you know, still waiting for our first draw, I would... Really, I'd take that on Saturday if we got a draw against MK Don. Obviously, uh, but I think at home, I think after losing to, to to Walsall as heavily as we have done, and Doncaster as heavily as we have done, um, I think a win against the MK Dons, I want to change my mind. Fans seem to think that I don't. I do. I don't want to be coming on here in my reviews and going... We've not been good. We've been poor. We've been. I don't want to be that. But at the same time, I'm not going to take being dick to own. I'm sorry, I'm not. So anyone that, that sees this and disagrees, I am not saying the lads are not doing well. But take that stat into account. When we score first, we get a result. When we don't score first, we lose more often than not. So what does that tell you? That tells you that the lads have a stronger mentality when they go in front. If they go behind, they seem to drop their heads a little bit. And if you don't believe me, look up the games yourself. So back on the positive, I just had to say something about that because I wanted people to realise that I'm not being negative on a loss for a loss for me it's the way we do it so we move on from that though like i said a fantastic win by the lads great for justin to get his first start and his first goal gave us 65 minutes and um, that puts us in the playoff places um and we we go next to uh at home to mk dons we're at home um three times in the next week um, and obviously that's MK Dons on Saturday then Man City on uh, under 21s on um, Tuesday and then Wilsden in the FA Cup that is and believe me if we can win those three games maybe my opinion at home will change but I just want to re-emphasise that one more time. I'm not saying the lads aren't doing well. All I'm saying is 
Lose a game, lads. It happens. But don't lose heavily. Don't say don't lose heavily. You've shown you can defend. Away from home. So do it at home. That's all I'm asking them to do. Do the same at home as they do away. If you can defend so resolutely like that, there's no reason why anybody at this level should be dicking us at home. Then you'll see a change in my mentality. I need to see now that we can do that at BP. Because at the minute, the only way we can do that at BP is score first. If we don't score first at home, we go flat. So... It's a great result, the lads. If you were at there, but there's about 400 fans or so. Great effort by you guys. And um, it, it, it's good to see us up so high. I don't think we've got much concern of relegation. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can carry this on. Again, I'm not getting carried away, guys. And I won't get carried away yet. I, I need to see that kind of performance at home more often because if we can get that right guys we could be right up there and i mean that we could genuinely be right up there if we defend the way we did or the way that we do away from home i've got faith in him i tell yeah i do i want him to change my mind and i've said that but i need to see more of that defensive resoluteness at home and not have our not have our tummies tickled by anybody, and I mean anybody. You know, so so that's my review. I'm pleased for the lads. I'm over the moon. You know, give me your thoughts. What do you think of the game? What do you think of my opinion? You know what I mean? Um, I'm uh, I'm giving my thoughts. Now it's your turn to tell me what you think. Do like, do share, do subscribe, do comment. And like I said, I, I love to debate with you guys and have your opinion on everything. You know, you're not wrong with your opinion. Everyone sees the game different. Everyone sees the game um, in opposite ways sometimes, you know. Um we squeaked out a win against Tranmere. Would it have surprised me if we drew? No. Would it have surprised me if we... No. So, just leave me in comments down below. I've explained my stance on certain things and why I am what I am. But at the end of the day, you're all entitled to your opinions. I'm not, you know. and But I need to see more performances defensively at home like that. Because, boy, if we can get that right, we will be a threat this year. And to some fans, just before I finish, I'm sorry if some of you feel like I'm being negative for being beaten heavily at home. But I made you that stat out earlier. Shows you where our issue is. So, guys, this, this, like I said, this isn't just my channel. This is you guys' channel. And you're entitled to challenge me. You know, you're entitled to give me that. But, you know, so please do. Please give me your fantastic support. I really do appreciate all your comments, whether... We agree with each other or whether we disagree with each other. I always respect your opinion and I always will do. Leave your comments down below if you went uh, to Tranmere on uh, on Tuesday. Uh, let me know what it was like there. You guys sounded awesome. And uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. I will be back. I'm thinking about doing an extra video this week. Um... Uh, but if not, I will definitely do the preview for uh, MK Dons that will be coming out after the uh, pre-match press conferences, which uh, will take place with David Artel either Thursday or Friday. In the meantime, guys, up the manners. And don't worry, I'm being positive, but I'm also trying to be level-headed as well. Like, 
share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the MK Dons preview coming up at the end of the week. In the meantime, guys, I will see you soon. And up the manners. And I didn't think I'd be saying playoffs. But ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> the manners are fishing at the top table. Shall we say, I will see you very soon in the next one. Ta-da for now, guys.